Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to root your Sony Xperia S or just about any other Android device, be it tablet or phone or whatever pretty much on Android 4.0.3 or 4, I don't know, whatever similar with binaries root method. I'll post the download links in the description. It's, it's an XDA thread. Anyway, to first prepare your phone to be rooted, you need to go to settings and then you'd go to developer options and you'll need to enable the top option which is USB debugging okay now we need to allow USB debugging USB debugging connected okay secondly now we'll go to security and we need to allow unknown sources okay now we need to do this because it needs to install something that's not through the official uh, Google Play or Android market so that's why that needs to be done. Okay, now we're all ready to root it. So now you just plug it into your computer. Mine's already plugged in, so I don't need to do that, but all you other guys do it. And okay, now you first download root with restore by binary. The download link will be in the description. And then once you've put your device in debug mode or developer mode, it will need to install the drivers again as it did just there. Okay, now we're going to ignore that pop-up thing, and I do need to make some more space by the looks of things. Sort through crap tonight. Um, yeah, we just... Ah, uh, yeah, see, I've downloaded it directly to the local disk or the C drive. It should, might be different for you people, but yeah, and just extract it there with any extracting program like WinRAR. I may put the download link in the description if anyone needs help with that. But yeah, now you need to open Command Prompt, so just go search in Command Prompt. And we'll change it to, we'll put on the C drive because as you can see, the folder is located there. Now we need to enter the folder name, and that name there I won't really be bothered remembering entirely so I'm just gonna rename it I'll uh, we'll rename it root that's a lot simpler you can you can leave it what change it to whatever you want you just have to navigate to it when the time comes and that time's now so we'll go CD space C I'm not sure if you meant to do that or if it's already there but that means change directory to the C yeah, so we, we'll just do that now um, now I need to do that freaking that slash thing. Now I don't know how you actually do that on a normal keyboard, so I've just copied and pasted it from somewhere. Now we need to go slash root. So now we're in the root folder, which is the folder with all the rooting stuff. Okay. Now we go dir. As you can see there, you can see the volume serial number, so that means it's found your phone. And it's found the directory there, and you can see all that information there. It's about your phone. You might not really understand it, only really sort of people who know their stuff would understand that. But this is, yeah, it's not that hard. But anyway, now we need to go. AB, yeah, you go, you folder stuff because that's the folder inside the root folder and you do that slash thing again ADB space devices now yeah that was yeah that was wrong see I did it wrong there I needed to yeah I did it a couple times Now you go, yeah, now you just type in run me, and it, it'll prompt you to start the um, rooting process. Now this is a normal device, the special devices is just pretty much for tablets and 
anything out of the ordinary and you can also unroot through this method but I haven't really tried it so now I just chose one and I pressed enter so now that'll be running now yeah now, now your phone will it'll try and get a backup and restore thing it'll pop up on your phone I'll, it'll come to that in a few minutes but yeah now now it's just running Okay, there we go. Now, now you can see that it worked, and there'll be a little pop-up on your phone, which it'll go to, which I'll put to now. Okay, there. Now you need to um, unlock your phone or with your password or whatever. Now, um, backup and restore will pop up, as this is how the root exploit happens. Now, sorry for the camera quality I know the in like the first bit and the ending bit will be better because I used a different camera at the time but um yeah now you'll need to go pick a restore on the bottom one so you'll go restore or you'll choose the um I forgot what it's called you'll see it there whatever it is and then you go restore to and then that now it'll just restore it'll take its time oh there we go but I'm no expert at rooting myself but yeah now it should just start to, now to just restart, I just sped this up because nobody likes seeing a phone boot and reboot because it's boring. But yeah, oh. Yeah, there we go, now when you boot it up it seems to be upgrading or dating. Sorry again for the poor camera quality at this bit. It was a different camera. How your Sony Xperia S or other miscellaneous Android device should be rooted. Now I'll just prove this but just by seeing that we got super user installed there. See? Yeah, yeah. And then, how else can we check? Um, SD mode. It's checking the root version. Um, current status is rooted, so that means it's been rooted. Duh. Um, yeah. ROM manager, maybe. Okay, I don't know if that says anything, but it's rooted anyway. And I'll try to root them as the last one just to prove it. This takes the screen brightness lower than the then you can when it's unrooted, like lower than the factory settings. See the screen goes all the way off here, and if I lo if I let go of my finger, it probably won't ever go back up unless I remember how to do it like in my head. But anyway, so there you go. That's that's how you root your Sony Xperia S. So thank you, and I'll show you how to another guide on how to install a custom uh, recovery, and then I'll show you how to flash a ROM onto it soon, which is my aim for today.